Yo, uh, what's up? Let me start off the video by saying I am sorry for looking so rugged and so bad. I just woke up not too long ago and uh, I woke up to this chaos going on in it about uh, Brian Starr's interview number two with Christopher Drew or Never Shot Never, whatever you want to call it. And, uh, you know, right away I went and watched the interview video, watched Brian Starr's uh, response to the video, and then I read all the comments that people are leaving on it and um let me let me just say that i'm not trying to put chris down even more, more than he already is because anybody who watched the video got their own opinion about it uh feel a certain way about it and i'm not trying to sway you left or right i guess you can say uh about it and um uh, but uh you know right off the bat you know as soon as the video started the first thing chris said or one of the first things Chris said was like, yeah, I remember you. You're the one that's starting rumors on the internet about us breaking up and blah, blah, blah. Like, right off the get-go, he was just attacking Brian. And, uh, you know, the video he was talking about, it was this R.I.P., uh, Never Shop Never, Christopher Drew, blah, blah, blah. And uh, that's what he was talking about. And, you know, did he just read the, the headline or did he actually watch the video? And something tells him that he didn't, because in the video, Brian was just, you know, commenting on the things that Chris said to the AP about that left some people believing that Never Child Never was going to break up. Um, Brian never started the rumor. Uh, he was just bringing it to light. Like, Brian brings us more than just interviews and funny interviews at that. He brings us news. He has Brian Starr's news. Where he, he, you know, he talks about stuff that's going on. And uh, Brian loves his fans. He really does love his fans. And, uh, and, and he doesn't start rumors, but any rumors that might be floating around the internet, Brian brings them up because he wants us to know what's going on. You know, Brian likes to connect the fans with the artists. And, you know, if those rumors aren't true, you know, at least we knew that something might be going on. And if they are true... Guess what? We were the first to know because of Brian Starr's. <laughs> and if that's seen as Brian Starr's spreading rumors or sp spreading false information, you know, rumors are rumors. And if they're about the music industry, they're floating around somewhere. Someone can easily just Google it and figure it out by themselves. So, you know, Chris was just in the wrong for that. And, uh, and uh, you know, him saying... Oh, you're just asking bullshit questions that no one cares about that are irrelevant. Um, you know, Brian Stars is known throughout the whole music industry for having goofy, funny, uh, a little bit serious, but, you know, a good balance of serious and funny, uh, bringing up tough questions as well. You know, if you watch uh, the Hollywood Undead interview, you know, there were tough questions with, you know, tough responses that left people kind of like, it was it was an, it was an intense video, and that's what Brian Stars does, you know. And being the second interview that Chris was doing, he should have he should have known what to expect from Brian, you know. And he should have told him ahead of time, like, hey, do you mind focusing on the music on this interview? We really want to promote our our next album, you know. That that's something that Chris should have done ahead of time, not during the interview, not in the middle of the interview. You know, that's uncalled for, that's unprofessional, and that's just that's wrong. You know, artists all the time, they email, that, let's say that uh, an artist just had a member change, someone left the band, got kicked out, whatever, you know. Artists would always email Brian ahead of time. It's like, hey, don't ask questions about this, don't focus on this, focus more about, you know, whatever, something else. And that's what Chris should have done. Or, before the cameras even, you know, were turned on, Chris should have went up to Brian and was like, hey, is it true that you were spreading rumors about it? You know, I, I, I read something on the internet that you were about. Like, why did Chris decide to wait till the cameras were rolling to bring up something like that? Like, that just shows how arrogant and ignorant Chris really is. And, you know, he's he was talking about, like, positive vibes. I love to, I love to send off positive vibes because, you know, we feed off, whatever, like, he was just contradicting himself. He was being so hypocritical. It, it was just blowing my mind th throughout the whole video. You know, there's a lot of Chris supporters still. You know, I was reading the comments. 
and there's a lot of people that still support Chris on what he was saying, and, uh, you know, I'm not trying to bash those Chris, Chris supporters, and, because obviously they're big Christopher Drew fans, but, uh, just, you gotta see the big picture, like, would you support somebody else that was doing that to somebody, because Brian didn't, he didn't deserve that, and, uh, it was wrong. And that's what you gotta see, like, you know, it's cool to support his music, and if his new album is good, and he has good songs, I'm gonna listen to them, I'm not gonna, I'm not trying to be like, hey, this is a Christopher Drew boycott, no, that's not what I'm trying to do, you know, support his music, that's good, but don't support him and his actions, because those actions are wrong, and if you support those actions, then you're just supporting arrogant musicians in the music industry, so when you go ask him for a picture, and he says, fuck off, you can't be mad if you're supporting him now, can you? I mean, that, that's pretty much all I gotta say. This video is getting lengthy, about six minutes. So, uh, leave your comments or whatever you want you want to say. Um, I'm open to any criticism. It's, it's all good, you know. Uh, be real and uh, be easy.